Hi, welcome to Top Chef University, and I'm Arian from Top Chef New York. Course number three is all about cooking techniques, and this is your next lesson in steaming. Today we're steaming seafood, specifically mussels with white wine and shallots. Yummy! This is a real treat that I love to have for a snack or even a meal. Let's get started. You have the basics of steaming now, so I'm going to create for you one of my favorite dishes, steamed mussels. So here you have about two pounds of mussels that have already been cleaned and the beards are removed. We have some fresh thyme, bay leaf, one minced shallot, about a teaspoon of red pepper flake, four cloves of garlic, and a cup of white wine. So basically how you get started here is I have my nice large pot, again, steaming. We want to make sure we have enough surface here. We don't have a rack on this. Our mussels having the shell, that actually acts as its own rack where it'll sit and be able to create its own steam. So we don't need the rack for this. So we're going to start on about a medium heat. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. We're going to sweat out our shallots. You want them nice and translucent here. So let them go a little bit. We're going to smash our garlic. I like to smash the garlic. I feel just brings out all the flavor. Now you think, it must look like I'm sauteing here, but actually I'm building the layers to get to that steam. So we building, building, building our flavors. So here I'm going to add our thyme and our bay leaf and our red pepper flake. Now you know you can add, if you want more, you add more. You, add, you don't want red pepper flake, you don't have to add it. At this point I actually like to season. Again, we're building the flavors, so we do. We like to season each step. Let's pull over our mussels now. So we're ready to add our mussels. Nice and hot, you hear that? Already. The mussels have so much moisture in them, that's what's going to really create our steam. Oh yeah. This is when we add our wine, and then you want to trap that steam right away. In, over the mussels, that's going to really create some nice steam and get them going. We're going to tidy up a little bit because we're going to grill some great bread that's really going to go nice, this crusty bread. I have my grill pan here getting hot. This is a great addition with the mussels. You can dunk all those juices. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now we're going to grill our bread. Got a nice hot grill pan here. This nice rustic bread that goes great with our mussels. It's great for dunking all those juices that are going to leak out of the mussels on the bottom of our, uh, in our bo the bottom of our bowl. So while that's grilling, let's take a peek at our mussels. Look at them opening beautifully. I'm going to give them a quick toss. You know, this is a pretty classic dish, very traditional. At my restaurant, I actually make a dish with um, porcini mushrooms and jalapenos and a sherry cream sauce, and uh, the customers die for it. Like, it I, I can't make enough mussels for them. And also, you know, you have your classic tomato, like a nice marinara sauce. You know, you can really, once you learn the basics, you can add the flavors, anything that you really like. So we got some great steam going on here right now, too. All the steam has really popped all our mussels open. If you see, look at these. Beautiful. Plump, juicy, all opening up nicely. Now, if you see any that haven't opened, you don't want them. That means they're dead, they're not going to open, you do not want to eat them, just discard them. But all of these have opened up beautifully, and they're plump and juicy. I'm actually going to turn off my, my fire right now, because I think these are ready to go. I'm just going to put the lid on, give them a few more moments here while our bread is grilling nicely. Now 
the aromas that are coming out of here, the garlic, the wine, the thyme, the bay leaf, I'm smelling it all. It's just, I know these are gonna be delicious. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> And it's okay to leave the thyme and the bay leaf in. It's, it's kind of nice. It gives it that rustic feel. And the thing about mussels is you always want to cook a lot. It looks like there's a lot, but let me tell you, we can eat these forever. So you never can have enough. Our bread is nice and toasted. I'm going to actually stuff that in there. Really nice. And look at those, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm just gonna finish with a little bit of chopped parsley. Give it that fresh, clean, delicious flavor. And a little squeeze of lemon juice. Can't go wrong with that. So there it is, a beautiful, delicious bowl of perfectly steamed mussels. This is such a healthy and flavorful way to cook your food. And even if you want to give yourself a facial at the same time. In the next lesson, we're diving into the principles of poaching.